I just found this out yesterday. If you've got a Shimano crankset that looks like this, it's got eight grooves in there. Eight grooves. That means you've got a Holotech 2 crankset. You probably need this specialist tool to remove it. The memorably titled TLFC16. Shimano call it a crank arm tool on their website. I've seen it called other things. Holotech 2 remover. And first of all, you take these, you loosen these pincher bolts. There's one there, one there. You loosen them first, and you put that in. And you remove, I mean, I can nearly get this in with it pinched, but you've got to do the pincher bolts first. You can see how it's tensed up now. I've seen it online for about £3.49 was the cheapest I saw, including delivery on eBay. You can get it in some shops like for £3. I think the Calvin were five pound, but it doesn't cost very much, and you can get a six millimeter hex on this one. But apparently, according to Gemini, the AI, Google's AI, you should just hand tighten it or hand loosen it because they say it's low torque here once you've got the pincher bolts off. But I don't know because I just found this out yesterday, and I am clueless. If you've got a bike toolkit, like from Aldi or Lidl, you might have one in there. This one came from this box, and I think this was from Lidl. If not, you can buy them, and they're pretty cheap. I, I have seen people on YouTube using, say, hand pliers and things like that, you know, long nose pliers. But I feel, because it's so cheap, it's not worth getting any damage in it, especially if you don't know what you're doing, you know. But uh, I have seen people use hand pliers and things like that. Uh, it's not something I'd do myself, but I'm all right anyway. Holotech 2 has been around for like 20 years. It's a Shimano thing. I don't know how common it is. I, I thought there's no chance I've got a Holotech because I'm, I'm putting a pedal assist sensor on for an electric bike. And uh, it did say when before I bought it, uh, the sensor won't fit um, Holotech 2, but I thought, well, that'll be Dura Ace or something, that'll be expensive bikes. But no, because I've got a Shimano Soda here and it doesn't fit. So uh, my, I need to buy a pedal assist sensor for the other side. I don't know how much I'm going to have to re remove. I'm hoping I just need that one too, because if you ever want to remove the bottom bracket, you need another tool for Holotech to. Yeah, like it says here, you, you remove the pincher bolts first. And the way that people have been doing them, they do it evenly. They do two turns in one and two turns in the other. They keep even everything even all the time. From what I've seen anyway. Then when you've listened to it, that should fit. And that's just a cap actually. I think it looks just like a cap to me. Yeah, you'll loosen the two bolts. That'll loosen that up. And I'll be able to get it in. I can get it in a bit, but I don't want to. I've not removed this yet, so I don't know what I'm talking about, right? But I just want the clueless to know. Especially if you've just bought an e-bike kit or whatever. So that, that'll go in there. And I may turn it by hand, but you could put a, an Allen key in there or X key or whatever they call them. Uh, you can also get them in metal, these things. They're about a pound either, aluminium. And they're no different really, but the Shimano one looks to be plastic as well. This is just a, a generic one. Uh, but if you want the aluminium one, yeah, they're about a pound either or something. And from what I've seen, it just looks to be a cap really, so you twist it a few times and the cap shows. I don't know what you do after that. Whether it's using the usual tool for removing cranks, I don't know. Yeah, because there's nothing shown here. I mean, Holotech's been around for 20 years. Apparently, it's made to be a bit lighter and uh, stiffer, I think. So maybe it's, I don't know, but at least to me, maybe it's because it's all sealed. Maybe that's what they like as well. I don't know. As well as that. I'd never heard of it.
So this is a video for the Clueless. Do I need, have I got a holotech to crank set and do I need a tool? The answer is yes, both. And you need to do it. Actually, Tyro, DL FC16, maybe you could think of it as Tranmere Ladies Football Club 16. And uh, yeah, got a plastic one and a metal one. I guess you can get a generic one or you can get a Shimano one, an official Shimano. But it, it's not that much to it really, is it? That's all I can say, guys. Video is over.